Hi, I'm Carlos with Durich. You know, radon gets a bad rap as being harmful to our health, but there's a good side to radon too. It's actually a great environmental tracer because it's so widespread around the planet, it doesn't combine with other elements, and it's so easy to measure. For example, groundwater absorbs radon as it comes into contact with rocks and soil. When geologists want to map out how groundwater flows into streams or coastal zones, they measure the radon in various points in their region of interest. Where the radon concentrations are highest, they know that groundwater is discharging nearby. Now, just about everyone has heard about measuring radon in air, but how do you do it in water? How accurate are the measurements? What tools can you use? That's what we'll cover in this video series. I hope you find it educational. Thank you for watching.